I think just to address it, I made some mistakes engaging in this idea that Tauri is better than Electron and here's why. And I even got into a, a Twitter battle with Marshall of Sound where I proved that we were better in some way. And after reflecting on it, I think that, that there's a lot of things that Electron brings to the table. For example, you might consider it a... a a bad thing, but it does bring a unified web interface to the major desktop platforms. It's the same interface. If you look at it in, in Windows, it's going to look the same as, you, as it is on, on Linux. So I think that that's something that we don't currently have. You also get an amazing general runtime of Node.js bundled with joy that can do anything. Uh, so basically, if you can think it in JS, your isomorphic uh, skills are going to come in totally handy. Uh, you're going to be able to follow documentation that's been built over, I mean, Electron's like almost, is it 10 years old now? Like they've been around for a while and a lot of people loved older it and than grew that. up on it and made documentation, made whole tutorials. You can learn about it and and not need to step out of your comfort zone. So I think that that's something, those are things that, that Electron has going for it. Towery, what Towery has going for it are, you only ship the parts of software that you need to run it. You don't need to ship a generalized runtime. So by doing that, we can reduce the, the, the actual engine size of a Towery app down to five, 600 kilobytes, maybe 400, depending on how aggressive you compress. Towery is also, and like I, I, I might get some flack for saying this, like people do benchmarks and they benchmark and they compare and like, oh, this is a Hello World Electron app and this is a Hello World Towery app and this right. one starts up this fast and this one starts up this fast, I know which is better. But ultimately what's happening under the hood, what's happening inside of the, the core runtime is fewer syscalls fewer mem like less memory pressure and believe it or not a quicker startup like just the time it takes to open up a large binary is like linearly longer than opening up a small one it we're talking milliseconds here i guess you could split sure. feathers but once you start thinking at a global scale of the trillions quadrillions of apps that are installed out on the planet, do they all need to have an individual eight or 12 megabyte Node.js runtime? If you have 10 of them on your, on your desktop, not so much. 